control. All railcar travel is suspended until he is found. Remember, the enemy is alone. We are the family. Lab's trying to box us in, kid. This is a goddamn citywide lockdown. To keep the train moving, you need the security override key from the local governor, Grace Holloway. She kicked me out of my own hotel down here, the Sinclair Deluxe. Find her and get that key. Hello and welcome back to my Let's Challenge of Bioshock 2. In the last episode, we completed Ryan Amusements uh, and completed everything that we needed to do there. And now we are here in Porter's Drop ready to try and do the same thing here. Now, this I, this playthrough must be some form of <laughs> cursed, it feels like. So, um, for one, my items might be different uh, to what they were um, at the end of the last episode, and that's because it didn't save, and I needed to redo that whole uh, section again, uh, which was a pain, as you might imagine. And then also, having done this section, this is the second time that I've started recording this episode, um, because of, um, yeah, once more, again, the, uh, in this case it actually froze. I actually got uh, a full, sort of, the whole, uh, the whole PlayStation actually, um, sort of froze and there was a big issue and haven't really worked out what it was, but it's meant that, uh, I actually got some trophies that I'm now going to have to keep an eye on for this episode and all of that sort of stuff. It's not been ideal uh, and hopefully we'll see how it goes uh, but it might mean that i'll actually end up with an extra trophy than the ones that i should have and all this sort of stuff which is not great when you're it's one of the flaws that when you're uh, sort of uh how your metric you, like the metric for success is uh, based around the trophies in the game because you can't really unclaim them Anyway, so here we are. We are down here in Pauper's Drop. We're going to find out more about what uh, this place is all about. And a bit more about Grace Holloway, who we actually heard a, um, an audio diary from at the end of the last episode. This can't be right. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, so headshots from the rivet gun are still doing monstrous damage, which is exactly what we want to see. Actually, starting to get towards the maximum amount of money that we can have, which I believe is um, six hundred uh, dollars. So we'll actually probably start thinking about what we can buy and things like that. Okay, so that is a brute splicer, a new type of enemy. I remember you, monster. You stole Eleanor from me. Twisted that baby girl into a thing so sick it can't even die. And now you come swanning into my neighborhood looking for me. Wrong turn, Tin Daddy. When we hang you from a street light and you choking out your last, I want you to remember my face. Okay. So a nice, uh, happy welcome there from, from Grace. Get okay, some more rivet in there. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got a rosy, a dead rosy. And there's some more money. Okay, so the first thing um, that they're going to want us to do is head to Sinclair. So we might as well um, show what the sort of the story of this uh, is going to be. Um, you'll notice that that way there is blocked. If we actually check the map, you can see that um, this area is sort of split into these four sections. You've got the, the this introductory section, you've got the tenements, um, you've got sort of the town square area, and then you've got the market. And we're heading towards the uh, the tenements here. Bryson says, "Piss off and die." Tim shit out. And that brute splicer is not too happy. Well, sport, I guess Gracie's home. But that big lug just dropped half my damn hotel in your way. Now to break through that mess, I expect you're going to have to work out how he got so burly. Find yourself a genetic research camera, son. You can pick up any number of tricks from a splicer with one of those. Try the pawn shop downtown. So as Sinclair suggests, uh, we're going to head over uh, downtown in order to get a research camera. And so just as you did some research in the first game, we're going to be able to do uh, some research here as well. Old Papa's drops the worst neighborhood in Rapture. But it's a hell of an opportunity to raise up some uh, affordable housing. When Atlantic Express was constructing their luxury passenger line, this place was hollowed out beneath as flop houses for the railway crew. Nobody was supposed to reside down here long term, but when you're broke in this town, you're not exactly swimming in alternatives. I don't favor spending more than an hour or so down here at a time. There ain't a side of the tracks more wrong than under them. Okay, so there we get some background on Pauper's Drop as I failed that hack. You can tell that at least for um, at least for safes, the hacking has definitely become that little bit tougher. And we'll be looking to hopefully get some tonics which we can use to actually uh, adjust for that. What we'll also see here is our first, um... Okay, you're now my friend. So I used an auto-hack dart there in order to, um... convert that... Gotcha. And again, um, much like in the first game, um, you're going to want to start sort of having security bots around helping you. Um, it's always a useful thing to do. Okay, so we have a big daddy who is without a little sister. Or is he? No, he does have a little sister. Okay, that changes things up. Okay. So normally I'd be happy to take him on. But I'm just thinking... So he's a rosy as opposed to um, the bounce. I think we saw a bouncer earlier. Rosies uh, have ranged weapons, which make them a bit more, certainly a bit more dangerous than the bouncers were. Um, still. There's a trap. Oh, 
not done particularly well. And we do have a splicer just over there that I can see uh, that I do need to worry about. It's dancing, Daddy! Dancing! Okay. So, some Eve hypos there. Um, we will definitely research... Sorry, uh, definitely grab some of those as well. Um, yeah, not great, but... Yeah. Is what it is at this point. Um, so we could. Do we want to. So I'm going to try and do this um, similar to the way that I did it um, when I started recording earlier. Um, one of the things that I managed to do earlier was actually I got the. Um, I got the Master Protector trophy which I remember was one of the tougher ones that I actually really struggled with the first time I played um, Bioshock 2. Um, and that requires going through an entire gather um, without taking damage. Uh, and that certainly is not particularly easy. Um, but I was just about able to do it. As well hack this turret. And seeing as I was able to do it in a s with not that uh, gather, I think I will try somewhere else. Okay, you can start to see that we're starting to pick up um, a double O buck, um, or you know zero zero buck. Um, that is important, uh, at least for us to think about, as there is some heavy rivet there that I did not spot earlier. Uh, standard rivet. Okay, so if we head across here, we'll find another audio diary. My folks lived in the St. Louis Hooverville in '92, and the drop is worse by a mile. Nobody's supposed to live down here. City pissing on us. Never try. Ryan doesn't care, and Fontaine's a damn crook. But Dr. Lamb cares. We're still people to her. She's offering free mental counseling on Sundays. When I go, I get the feeling she's got a plan for Rapture. And for me. So I figured we might as well buy some uh, some health because uh, we definitely lost a lot during our fight with the Rosie. Um, so yeah, uh, so what we're gonna want to do eventually is head down into, uh, as they say, towards the town center. Um, but before that we do that, what uh, I want to try and do is try and get in to the building below us. And I'm trying to remember how, I, how you do that. Or whether it's something that opens up later on. Um, Pretty much, uh, if we can get our way into the diner, there is something important for us to find in there. Uh, okay, ah, there we go, just this door here. And because there is a small battle later on in this room, 
what we will do is just put some some light traps around. I think there's also some booze in here. So because we still have booze hound active, um, we could actually drink uh, some alcohol and have that restore some of our Eve, which is always a good thing. explosive barrel as well. Got another first aid kit. Did I not pick up that one there? I did not. Okay. Um, so yeah, so what we'll do is we'll head through here. And th there are two main things that you do um, in, this, in, in this small diner. Step one is we're going to find a key code. Uh, for something that's important later on. And the second one, so here's our code. Code is 0047 for the clinic. The second thing that we're going to find is a shotgun. So aimed properly, the shotgun does immense amounts of damage. I say aimed properly because obviously I was doing a terrible job there and missing lots. Yeah, so we now have access to the shotgun, which is a really nice, um, powerful weapon. And seeing as it won't impede our eve gathering, I am happy to drink some of this alcohol around. Uh, occasionally they have little switches under here uh, for like specific, um, you know, to open certain doors and things like that, but it doesn't look like that's here. Okay, okay excellent, max health. That's what we like. Put this first aid kit somewhere where we might use it, say here. Okay, so uh, naturally we would end up going that way, um, we would normally end up going into there, you'd have to. Um, the reason for that is because um, once we head to the next area, in order to get access to the clinic, um, you need obviously that code in order to get in. Okay, so we're going to find our first brute, here. and he's not too bad. We can really lay into him with some uh, anti-personnel rounds. Oh, 
Set up a security alarm as well, which is bad. We need to find a security shutdown Nobody panel. My daddy. Bye -bye. Okay, deactivate that alarm. We might as well take these bots as well. She's gonna watch me do this <laughs> And then finish them off. Okay, good. A little bit annoying that, but there we go. Okay, so we have a little shrine to Prentice Mill, who, if we remember, was the... This is it. ...who made the Atlantic so, Express. I built this railroad from nothing, played by Mr. Ryan's rules. But then he asks me to sink my own cash reserves into the banks to give Rapture some breathing room. Bathysphere wants to buy me out. Decommission the entire rail. I have no family and no time for friends. I am the Atlantic Express. And this, this is the end of the line. Okay, so, as I mentioned before, uh, I was successful enough to get the perf uh, the Master Gatherer trophy uh, in my first playthrough of this section, and that involved hacking, uh, gathering Adam from this particular corpse. Uh, and the way that we want to set this up, or the way that I did last time, and knowing my luck, it just we're not going to be nearly as successful this time around. But that is part and parcel of this all. So over here, um, we want to put down some explosives. How Ideally, a couple of explosive barrels. Um, looks like we've got one. That's OK. And then also, we can put a bunch of um, trap rivets around. And I've done this before, but I think it's still a really useful thing to do, is to just put some trap rivets on a on a barrel inside a, um, you know, uh, an oil slick, and that will always do a huge amount of damage. So then we can greatly fortify this section just by putting trap rivets all the way around here. a few on the floor. We'll want a few here. And we'll want a few here, I think. Okay, so. Loads of traps. Loads of stuff set up. And then what, you're, what I did last time was I just sort of hung back around this area. Tin Daddy is hollow like a jail cell that needs filling, and he will never let her go unless you hunt him down. So obviously I've been hit, which uh, would 
null my chances at getting the uh, What's that code you found on the keypad outside the clinic should get you up on the rooftops yeah that would null my chances of getting the uh, the trophy So, we don't quite get the same uh, result as we did uh, that first time around, which was rather annoying. Um, but at the same time, uh, something else that uh, I need to consider. So I just got a trophy, um, regardless, that I did not get the first time around, and that was killing 30 enemies with traps, so Trap Master. Um, now it looks like, therefore, that the game has still made some form of, uh, kept some form of reference to the enemies that I've killed with traps uh, otherwise, which is a bit of a pain because it means that I'm getting trophies earlier than I potentially would otherwise. Um, It might just be that we maintain this as a let's just, like, I'm not really sure what to do at this point. Um, the challenge aspect of this sort of is going very quickly out of the window because of everything and I can't, don't really want to have to start all over again. Um, so I might just make, continue this on uh, just as more of a playthrough than anything else. Uh, still making note of like when I'm getting trophies and things like that. Um, but yeah, n not being too, um, to not concentrating too much. What do they expect? You keep enough drug stash in this clinic to slice up a rhinoceros. Of course every poor soul in a drop's gonna start beating down your door. It's my job to think up a new key code to keep them out. Seems like every other day now. Nuts. I'll mull it over for a while at the fishbowl diner. So there we have... This is it. We've already heard this one, Prentice, I'm afraid. Okay, so we hear an extra, that, that, that same one from Prentice again. I think that's because the one that you pick up there is automatic, and like you'll automatically play it. And the reason because is because it's obviously uh, story related. You need that, well, don't technically need it, but it's there to tell you, oh yeah, head to, um, head to the diner to find uh, out what the guy who was changing the codes put the code as. Okay, so now that we're so we're in the town sort of halt center area, um, there are in this area a whole bunch of sort of things to do across these roofs. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a circle of all the roofs um, whilst we're up here, not necessarily aiming straight for um, what Sinclair would want. What Sinclair wants us to do. So if we head this way, uh, and once more it looks like there's uh, some useful ammo on the roofs. So yeah, if we head in here, obviously we've got an ammo vending machine. Uh, where we can pick up some trap rivets. And we get a power to the people machine. 
um, where we can increase the shotgun clip size, and I think that's um, this massively increases the usability of the shotgun, um, just because our reload time is actually pretty slow at the moment. Take care of those two and get another one there. Another day, no clients. Atlas and Ryan start going at it hot and heavy, and all my business dries up. It used to be easy. Put the eye on some spliced up dame's wandering husband and rake in the dough. Now it's got so bad I had to put my camera in hawk at King Pawn. Makes a guy consider splicing up himself. If I had two dimes to rub together, that is. Okay, so we get another sort of character and their struggles here down in Rapture, especially down here in Pauper's Drop. So uh, that is our Flanagan. So if we keep heading around this way, we're then going to reach uh, another rooftop. And here, this area, I think, is where we'll find our next point at which we can uh, do a do a successful gather. As we grab this one. Now, Eleanor, Mummy has to go away for a while. You shall be staying with Aunt Gracie. Mummy, don't go. Eleanor, you are better than that. Do you remember what I told you? I am very special. That's right. And what else? I was born to change the world. Yes. And when Mummy returns home, the world will be very different indeed. She will make it ready for you. Okay, yeah, so as you can see, there's a gather that we can do just here. And we're now just going to do a bit of setup. Um, so I think a few trap rivets down these stairs, along there. And that would go down pretty nicely. And then we'll want some trap rivets here. Daddy, 
And that's why that trophy's annoying, because just one... Uh, like, that was just from, like, a stray explosion as well from the grenade that that, um, that, that splicer threw, but it... It ruined it. It made it terrible. Ah! Anyway, okay, so, um, as we continue to make our way around, uh, we're eventually going to get uh, access to the research camera as... Um, as Sinclair has uh, suggested to us. And then using that uh, camera, we're going to be able to um, start the res you know, start being able to research different types of enemies. And then I think once we head, once we complete, or well, like once we start the research on the brute, which is what Sinclair wants us to do, I think once that's the case, we'll be able to. Um, we might as well head, uh, stop this episode. Um, okay. So we'll rescue our little sister. Get a nice chunk of Adam. And continue to do this sort of this long loop around the top of these buildings, uh, just keeping an eye out for anything um, of value or of a particular use. Some more heavy rivet, which is always good. Some armor piercing rounds, so that would be useful against a big daddy. Those are pretty rare, it's fair to say. That may well be another corpse that you could have a little sister look after. That is the, um, yeah, so we hacked that turret from over there. Okay. Okay, excellent. So I think that is a full loop. So we have yet another available health kit over there. At this point, we are well, we are pretty well set. Um, that as the biggest issue we're going to have in terms of dying is uh, simply going to be if we've got enemies that manage to take care of all of our health in one go. Um, because even if we're losing uh, a s even a more significant amount of health in a battle, we should still, in our current state, have like we'll have enough uh, money and things like that in order to sort of deal with it. That thing's a miracle in Technicolor, kid. Works like a movie camera. Start the film rolling before you open fire on a splicer, and then anything you hit him with tells you more about his DNA. Let's give it a dry run, shall we? Okay, so I wonder what door that opens. This door, I would uh, imagine. Okay, we've got safe. Yes. Okay, so some armor piercing rounds and some trap rivet. Rather useful. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, and another Eve hypo there. So plenty of Eve hypos. Some vodka, some buck. Easy now. Looks like you got the jump on this fella. Start your camera recording him, then hit him with a little bit of everything. Plasmids, firearms, whatever you can dish out. That's it, son. 
camera spits out a prize once in a while as you learn what makes a splicer tick. Now, find one of those big old brutes and take them out on film. Before long, you'll be able to brush aside that mess at the hotel. So as has been said there, um, your success with the research pretty much depends on a bunch of different factors, like sort of using different plasmids, using different weapons, um, and what um, we'll also find out is that you also want to vary it up as much as possible. Um, so that, because as you vary it, you'll get more, um, more successful, uh, like, better research. And that better research will then allow you to level up your research quicker. Because just as in um, Bioshock 1, the amount of research, or the research that you do, gives you uh, significant bonuses when it comes to um, enemy... Uh, like the damage you do to certain enemies or things like that. So we've just made um, like le lead heads and thuggish splices more susceptible to uh, anti-personnel rounds. Okay, so again, we will now... So I think that's pretty much everything done in this area, which means we should now be able to head down to Skid Row, which is down this way. Um, we know that the Sinclair Deluxe route, so this way, uh, this one has already been blocked. Or this was definitely blocked from the other side. I don't think we'll be able to... To make pro... yeah. So you can see it's completely blocked. There's just a vent here. But what we can do is we can uh, make our way uh, to Skid Row and then Take on that brutish, uh, take on the brute splicer. Uh, whilst obviously recording. Using that camera is a bit like telling a joke. Each time you tell it the same way, it gets a little more stale. So you got to change it up to keep it fresh. So, seeing as that Big Daddy is currently in a battle with some, uh, some splicers, seems like a good thing to um, just take a video off. There's no point in us actually battling that Big Daddy, because obviously um, it doesn't have a little system. Although, given that it is now slightly weakened, we may well want to do just that at a later point. Okay, so... Yeah, I think if we head this way, this will also work out. We've got uh, another Fallen Rosie. So, given that we're going to be taking on the uh, the brute first, and we can see the brute is just over there. There's one of those big goons now. Start your camera. A rolling on him, and then let him have it. Okay, we definitely will do. But first. I want to do some hacking of this. That's how it is now.
Look at you, sport. A regular junior shutterbug. And it appears you've picked up a new trick from that big galoot. Now get back to the Sinclair Deluxe and just bust through that mess blocking your way. So as has been said, um, we can now do a drill dash, which will allow us to break through um, certain, uh, certain issues. So just a small amount of research there for the red head, uh, for the lead heads, I should say. Okay, so we still got a little bit of time um, to do a little bit of exploring. Then probably the next time we'll probably start off by taking on that big daddy. Uh, especially if it has a little sister. Okay, so that looks like Ellen has left us something. Yes. Okay, yeah, so I think, given that we're about to start a battle... For Grace, the paradise of Andrew Ryan was most unkind. She spoke against him in song, and he had her blacklisted. It left her penniless. But in the family, she has found hope, a reason to draw breath. Ask yourself, Delta. Do you deserve to take it from her? Okay, so, as I said, with that big daddy just waiting for us to do some research on him, we will do, we will start the research in the next episode. So, I hope you have enjoyed this episode and hope you'll join me on the next, where we're going to be hopefully finishing off.